Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you the top five best secrets in Microsoft products. As many of you know, I don't actually work at Microsoft anymore, so how could I possibly know these secrets? Well, lucky for me, I recruited Shannon, who works as a full-time employee at Microsoft, and we're gonna to try to get some secrets out of her today. Thanks for having me, Kevin. So you wanna get some secrets out of me? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, here's a few of them. First, we're gonna start by going surfing in Microsoft Edge. Next, we'll check out what's called God Mode. Sounds pretty epic to me. And we'll also be checking out some undocumented features in Microsoft Excel. All right, well, that sounds pretty awesome. Let's jump on the PC and let's check these out. This brings us to secret number one. You can surf in Microsoft Edge. Yes, you've always been able to surf the web, but now you could also literally surf in Edge. Up in the address bar, type in the following URL. I've also included a link in the description down below and then hit enter. On the main surfing screen, you'll see some basic instructions on how to control your surfer. And right down here, you can choose the surfer that you want. Now, this guy in the middle, he looks pretty handsome. I'd have to say he looks just like me. Up in the top right hand corner here, I could also choose a different game mode. I also have some instructions, but let's get surfing. Right back on the main screen, I'll press spacebar to start. And check that out, I am now surfing in my web browser. If you ever played the game Ski Free back in the day, this probably looks very familiar, but instead of skiing, I'm now surfing. And I just crashed, I'm not very good at this game. So Shannon, really appreciate you coming over today to show me all these different secrets, but I do have a little request. I was hoping you could also fill out a flyer for the Kevin Cookie Company. Great, well, my time is too precious. So I'm gonna use secret number two to create this flyer for Kevin. So if I actually use this function, equals lorem, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then hit enter, it'll fill in Microsoft Word with all this dummy text. So it kind of does the job for me. But looking at this text, it all has some like Latin text, which I think Kevin will figure out pretty quickly that I didn't actually write any of this. So if I use a different function, equals rand, and then hit enter, and then it gives me all this text. And this is looking pretty good. I think I could trick Kevin with this, but I think I need a little bit more text. So if I do the same thing and do equals rand, and then added a parameter six, which is the number of paragraphs, and five, which is the number of sentences, and then I hit close the parentheses, and then I hit enter, it'll give me six paragraphs with five sentences each. And this looks is looking great. I did a lot of work here. Kevin's gonna be so impressed. I better head out now before he realizes this is just filler text. This now brings us to secret number three. Typically, if you wanna change any of your computer settings, you have to head over to control panel and then you have to try to figure out where the setting is. So was it in system and security or was it under hardware and sound? I don't know where it is. You have to dig through all these different menus. Luckily, there is something called God mode that makes this even easier. On your desktop, right click with your mouse and then go down to new. And right here, let's select new folder. Within the folder, paste in the following name. I've also included it in the description of this video. Once you finish entering it in, press enter and you'll see this new God mode icon. It's also referred to as the master control panel. Let's click on this to see what's within. This opens up a master control panel that has every single tool in one place. Here you see all of your admin tools, you have all of your different devices, all of your different ease of access controls. So you can get to everything in one place. So you no longer have to dig through complicated menu systems. This brings us to secret number four. There's a function in Microsoft Excel that you won't find mentioned anywhere, but it helps you calculate the difference between dates. Here, if I go up to insert function and I could type in date difference and search for it, you won't find any function. Here I could go down though and I could type in date diff. Here too, you'll see that there's no helper function that appears, but once again, we can still use this. Here I'll type in date diff, and then I'll open the parentheses and I'll select the start date. This is the date of one of the unfortunate accidents we had here at the cookie company. I'll select this date as the start date, then I'll insert a comma. Right here, I'll select the end date. This is also today's date. I'll insert this, and I'm going to turn it into an absolute reference. So when I copy this formula down, it'll apply to every single row correctly. 
Next, I'll enter a comma, and I want to know the year since this accident. So I'll insert quotes, type in a Y, insert quotes again, and then close my parentheses. So this formula is now fully structured. I'll hit enter, and look at that. It's been zero years since this accident. Let me take this formula and copy it all the way down. Wow, we have a lot of accidents that have happened this past year and within the last year. It's no wonder we have so many lawsuits here at the Kevin Cookie Company. Along with calculating years since, I could also use it to calculate the months since. Here I've already entered the formula. And here, instead of entering a Y for year, I could enter an M for month. And here this tells me it's only been one month since this accident. Also, if I go over to days since, you probably get the idea, but here instead of entering an M, I could enter a D, and this will tell me how many days. So we've now been accident-free for 47 days. Oh, no, actually only 11 days. Secret number five, Cortana has games included in it. So keep this between you and me, but the Kevin Cookie Company actually uses Cortana games to make a number of important business decisions. A crazy example of this is they made a decision on whether they should hire a new safety engineer or not by using flip a coin. So let's try it. Should we hire a new safety engineer? Heads yes, tails no. Flip a coin. I guess we're not gonna hire anyone. Another crazy example of this is they decided on how many stores to open up in a new region in Hyderabad, not based on market research, but based on rolling a dice. So let's roll a dice. Okay, let's open two new stores. Another crazy example is that in meeting disagreements, they use rock, paper, scissors to come to consensus. That rounds out the top five secrets in Microsoft products. However, because I have Shannon here today and she just has so many different secrets to share, we wanted to share two additional bonus secrets. And the first one is a fun one. Within File Explorer, head to the following location. Once again, I've included a link in the description down below. Here you'll see a whole bunch of different files. Let's click into the one called Services. Here it'll ask us how we want to open this file. Let's select Notepad. Within Notepad, we can see all of the different ports that Windows has assigned to different services. And there's a really fun one in this list. Here, if I scroll down about midway through this file, we'll see port number 666 in Windows. And you'll see that it refers to Doom. Doom is connected to 666. So what is Doom? Is this some secret reference to the end of the world by Microsoft? No, there was actually a popular FPS game in 1995 made by ID Software, and they happened to use port 666. And it's just stuck around ever since then. For our last secret, we're gonna show you how there's a picture of Frodo's house from the Lord of the Rings movie actually in Windows Control Panel. So if I do a search in the search box for closed captions and click on the first best result, it'll open up the control panel to the closed captions screen. And here you can see this is actually a picture of the Hobbit house for Frodo right here in the control panel. Kinda neat, huh? All right, well that wraps up our top secrets. Let us know down in the comments if you learned any new ones. If you wanna see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. All right, see you next time.